Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Grammel School. Welcome to our pedicure segment. Please give it a big thumbs up and let's get into it. Today we've got a corn to deal with. This type is called a seed corn. How do we know that it's not a callus? Well, a client feels prickling pain. Our model has got a valgus foot deformity. There is a lateral deviation of the big toe. So there is excess pressure that caused a seed corn. And we need to remove it. Again, seed corns are caused by excess pressure in the area. Normally, they take a few months to appear. We're going to need tweezers and nippers. First off, we go along the edges and remove the top. Then we will touch it up with a drill bit. A sphere one, 19 mm in diameter. We move clockwise to remove the corn. So how do we know where to stop? Well, by watching the client's reaction. We stop when it gets painful. And how to check if it's all gone? Well, just press on the area with your fingers and it should not hurt. Now we touch up the dry skin. Its color is different. It's sheer and yellowish due to keratinized cells. Now we need to polish the skin with a cap. It's a 150 grit one. To gently polish the skin. Now there is a hole in the foot. And we need to relieve pressure. Our expert and professional podologist Olga will share with you three methods how to do it for a seed corn. And the first one features liquid silicone. We need to decrease the surface first. We'll be using this UV lamp used by dentists and a special solution. We need to form a circle around this hole for pressure relief. We go step by step and cure each portion. This patch will last for a couple of days, depending on the overall food pressure. It may not last on sweating feet, but sometimes it lasts up to two weeks. For the next method, we need to remove this patch. It's got attached pretty well. For our second method, we will need some fleecy web. We need to cut out a circle with a hole in it. First, we cut out a square, remove the corners, then fold it and cut out the middle part. The hole should be right in the center of the corn. This patch will last for three days and then we need to make a new one. Now we attach it to the corn and next up, let's secure it with a breathable plaster. Spread it well to avoid cracks and discomfort. We can keep it like this or we can fix it with a tape. Just make sure to remove the corners. Then it will get stretchy. Tear it in the middle, remove the paper, then pull and attach it. Fix it well. And here is one more method. We can use corn blasters. We'll also need a tape and a breathable plaster. A corn removal should be done by a professional and it should cost extra money for the removal and the tape. But sure, this corn will appear again, unless a client contacts an orthopedist to get individual insoles. So this work is not for a nail tech alone, for we can't fix a bone structure. That takes an individual approach. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Good luck. Bye-bye.